Dr. Wendy Green was greeted with a round of applause as she spoke to a group of students at the University of Arkansas's School of Law on Tuesday afternoon. She's the director of the Center for Law, Policy and Social Action at Drexel University School of Law in Philadelphia. Green is the founder of a movement known as Free the Hair. Even if you don't experience this form of discrimination, that it is real, that it is systematic, that it results in so many different inequalities. Dr. Green says one common example of discrimination based on grooming and appearance is people of color not being selected for a job because of how they choose to style their hair. She says it's long since been an issue, but one that has been talked about more since the COVID-19 pandemic. So many of us might be um, enforcers of that discrimination. We might subject others to that discrimination, and it's hard for us to really be reflective and introspective about engaging in forms of discrimination and inequality in our workplaces. For some law students who attended the speech on Tuesday afternoon, they made it a point to stay the entire time. Yeah, I think just getting to hear about the history of black hair, black female hair specifically, um, and some of the challenges that African American women have faced in the past in the workforce and um, socially even. Dr. Green says, like with most things relating to civil rights, she says there has certainly been progress made, but she also says there is much work to be done too. Not only awareness, but greater levels of non-discrimination, greater levels of equality and inclusion in these spaces that are just so vital to our well-being. Green says she's helping to lead a push for legislation in France that would prohibit discrimination based on hairstyle, something she says could be the first of its kind in the world. In Fayetteville, Chip Scarborough, 4029 News.